welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Kylie and I'm so happy that you are here. Guys, today's video is going to be so cute. Come here, come say hi. <laughs> She's on crack right now, but I got a kitten, yes. Say hello. Yeah, hi. Yeah, so I got a cat. And today I'm going to tell you uh, the story about how I got her and how she's able to be in the dorms with me. And then I'll just put some cute little footage in of her. So, that's the whole video today. It's not anything special. I just wanted to tell you guys about this life update. So one morning um, I was sleeping in bed at like 9am and I woke up to my phone just like completely going off like constantly like my text messages and I looked and my mom sent me this picture of this cat and she's like do you want a kitten and at this point uh, we had been going back and forth talking about me getting an emotional support animal for a while and when she texted me this picture it kind of just was like she was saying how <laughs> The kitten needed a home and she was stuck uh, she got stuck in a trap on a farm because they put out like a live trap for uh, possums and things like that but she got stuck in it like she wasn't hurt at all but she just got trapped so uh, she was by herself and she needed a home and so uh, immediately I decided that I wanted her to come live with me so I um, contacted my school's accessibility resources and I started the process of applying for an ESA, Emotional Support Animal. And the process itself is really quick. Uh, I just had to fill out a form of uh, basically why I was applying and then I had to meet with our accessibility resources director and basically um, do it, not like an interview, but just answer a couple questions for him uh, about why Luna should be able to come live with me and how it's going to help. And then I had to send him uh, vet paperwork and diagnosis paperwork and once that was all done, I was pretty much approved and I had to meet with the housing director who happens to be my boss because I work for housing. So he just basically told me the little the rules that we have um, for having animals in the dorms uh, and on the apartments. So, so during the process, my parents were holding Luna at their house for me, just keeping her there and taking care of her. And then once I finally found out that I was approved, thank goodness, uh, I drove home that weekend and I got to meet her and I spent the weekend at home um, with my parents and my brother and my family just <laughs> doing normal things, I guess. And then uh, that Monday I brought her back and she's been here with me. Uh, about two weeks now I think this is going on the third week and she's literally so great uh, I didn't have any litter box issues like she has always used it she's never gone outside of it it's great um, she is really really playful but she's also so snuggly and she has such a great personality I've never once <laughs> seen her hiss and she loves everyone that comes to meet her so She's a great kitty to have and I'm so blessed and grateful that I was able to get approved for an ESA so quickly and um, she has really, really helped <laughs> and I have been so happy since she moved in. So that is the story about how I got Luna. Um, she is between six and seven months. We don't know the exact birthday because she was found um, on the farm and we don't really know but she's between six and seven months and she is growing every day she's um, medium to long hair gray kitty as you saw and um, I believe her she's a tabby and I was when I was naming her I was going back and forth between Luna and Willow I know Luna is a really popular name um, for animals but Willow just didn't roll off the tongue as well as Luna did and I don't know I think it just fits her because we have Luna and we have Star back at home so I don't know I think it works and she's really cute she loves to play um I have so many toys for her and she loves them 
I'll just ignore me. She's tiny, tiny, but uh, she's my ESA, and I love her, and she'll probably be on this channel for a little while. Well, a long while, because she's so young, and I'm going to have her the rest of my life, so that's going to be great, but so that's all I have to say um, about how I got her and uh, what she is, so I'm going to make a cute little montage here of clips of her because why not? I want to bring some happiness into your day and if watching a kitten play with cute music in the background is going to make you happy then that is what I'm here to do. So <laughs> let's do that. <laughs> 